welcome to Spirit Forest. Today, my mom got us a little present. Yay! <laughs> Actually, it was yesterday, but it is called. I think you don't. Cube. I don't know if Cube. you. Is yeah. you can see it, but it's Cube Mobile Projector. R R I F six. And this is basically uh, what it says, projector, and it's so small. I was surprised how small it is. It is this big, and... Well, show them. Sorry. Just keep it in your hand. It's this big. It's somehow it is very well... It, it does very well. It does like yeah. HD video and it can project anywhere. Um, and so I thought it would be a really fun for the kids to be able to project a movie right on the tent. And if you guys want to go camping and like you want to have a projector but not like this huge... One of the big ones, yeah. This is very good because it's... It's, it's so small. small. Yeah. And you can move it easily. And it comes with this little tripod. So basically you just kind of stick it in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll try to show you guys later. It just might be kind of dark when we're actually using this. So that's why we're filming during the day. Um, yeah. But it comes with this little tripod and you can stick it in there and you can move it all around whichever way you want. Um, <coughs> and then Kyla, what did you want to say about it? Um, so... If there's this focus over here, don't know if you can see it, but um, when you project it, you can focus it. So if it's blurry, um, if you just focus it and then it'll be clearer. It's very clear for the And size. also, um, it stops like, it stopped, we tried it last night and it stopped in between the movie. Right yeah. in the middle. So it has a battery on it. But what we yeah. found, the battery doesn't really last very long. Yeah. So, um, we have, it's, we were lucky we had this GoPro thing, um, where you just plug it into it and it will charge it. So we plugged that into it while we were using it and it still worked. Yep, yep. Our, um, our GoPro does really well for this type of projector. We had my phone plugged into it as well as... Um, the projector plugged into it and it, and it did really well. So, um, again, re really happy with this. Um, one of the things that I would say about it is that, um, I did have an issue with my iPhone. It doesn't come with the adapters for the iPhone to go into an HD. So you have to purchase this little thing from Apple. Um, so, you know, this is pretty costly. You can look online for it, you know, and the, the price varies. I got a pretty good deal on, um, Amazon on Prime Day, but, um, you know, that's pretty costly. So you got to figure if you're planning on using it with your iPhone, which is what I used it with. And then we also have some iPads too. Um, you got to buy this adapter and this adapter is $50. Um, so, so keep that in mind. Um, it just, it brings things into an HD um, HDMI, I think is what it, what it was called. Um, yeah. but anyways, you have, you have to plug it in and you got all these cords for that. Um, it also does come with a remote too. So just wanted to kind of show them yeah. that it's a remote. Um, and again, we'll try to film tonight. Um, and you guys will be able to see, um, uh, it being used. It works really well with the, with the iPhone when you have the adapter. Yeah. So when I first bought it, I didn't know that you needed that adapter. I don't know. I read a lot of reviews, but I never saw that you needed an adapter. And then I was running around like crazy. Kyla and I were going to Best Buy and, and, uh, Walmart. I was searching on Walmart to see if I could find it. Um, I did end up finding it at Best Buy and uh, bought the adapter right yeah. before we came up here. Also, but I didn't know that it was supposed to have an adapter. Also, it it has these tiny little speakers and you can barely hear anything. So you should have a like a speaker for it to plug it in because it really helps so you could hear it well. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, you have to have a portable speaker, which I already have one of those, so that was no extra cost to me. But it is more to carry, yes. so um, keep that in mind. As much as the projector is really small, you have a you have a phone or an iPad, and then you also have a, an external speaker as well. So um, you know the things add up. But a lot um, of cords. But so far, so good. We watched a movie last night. Mm -hmm. and uh, really enjoyed it. So tonight's going to be another movie night. Yeah, we watched Harry Potter number one. One number one, yes, yes. So we're going to go through the whole series of Harry Potter out here um, because they haven't really, they haven't seen them all. And so, um, so we're going to, we're going to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll, we'll catch up with you guys later once, uh, once it's dark outside and uh, show you it in action. Okay, so we're getting ready for movie time, and uh, Kyla is turning it on, and you'll see that it's really small there on the floor. And so now um, it's still pretty light outside, so we're going to wait until it's a little darker, but we wanted to film kind of our setup. And uh, there it is. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll wait until it gets a little bit darker outside. We got our popcorn made. We're totally ready for movie time, right girls? Yes. Yay. Harry Potter number two. Two. Can't wait. Anyway. Malfoy. He called Hermione. Um, well, I, d I don't know exactly what it means. 